Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at rhetorical knowledge, which is the skill set that you need to be a good writer, an informed reader, and to engage in intelligent discussion. So the particular aspect we're going to look at today is genre. All righty. So with genre, what we're looking at is what are you writing? Is this a piece of fiction or is it nonfiction? Depending upon what that is, the piece that you're writing, um, you're going to engage different skills and use different tools within the writing so that you can achieve your goal. You want to reach out to your audience and you want to achieve your particular purpose of informing your reader, persuading your reader, or entertaining your reader. Okay. Is this going to be a literary piece? So is this a piece that you're writing? Is that going to be poetry? Is it going to be theater? Is it going to be narrative that typically falls under fiction? What kind of style are you using with this piece? So are we talking about science fiction here or are we looking at a romance piece? Those can be pretty different, although of course there are opportunities for those two to overlap. Depending upon the particular piece that you're writing and depending upon which audience that you've chosen, your, your intended audience of the individual person or the group of people that you believe will be reading this piece, you're going to make different choices about that particular piece. Uh, let's say that you're writing a science fiction short story. So for the science fiction short story, you're going to include different language, different kind of information and different scenes, different characterizations and so forth. If you're writing for a group of say, uh, 10 year old fourth graders, versus if you're writing for um, college students, undergraduate college students, right? You're going to include different things because you want to appeal to those two different audiences in different ways. And so you'll tap into your skills to do that. Also take into consideration, what's the purpose of this particular genre? Uh, so for different pieces and different genres, um, they have different reasons, uh, different purposes of why they exist and what they're trying to do. So for example, poetry is typically um, going to get information across in a more distilled kind of way. Okay. It's not necessarily going to go into heavy description or explanation because it's just giving you the basics of that. But if you're reading an essay, you might get a lot more explanation in that. Okay. So you're going to have big differences there. Um, how are the messages typically communicated in this genre? So you may want to take a look at other examples of this particular genre. Let's say that you're writing a narrative essay, if you're writing poetry, if you're writing theater and so forth. Um, you may want to take a look at other examples of poetry before you sit down to write your own, just so that you can see, okay, what have other people done here that's worked? Sometimes if we can take a look at uh, professionals in these fields, we can help ourselves avoid um, problems in our writing by taking a look at what have some, what have some other people done that have that have worked out really well here okay how have they gotten their their messages across in a way that communicated really well with the genre and the other thing you want to take a look at is what is or is not acceptable in this genre so are there things you would expect not to see in poetry um, or that you would expect to see in poetry and how might that be different from narrative from a short story um, so you want to make sure that the piece that you're writing matches up with that particular genre. Of course, with all of our writing, we want to try to achieve our goal of communicating our message to our audience um, because that meets both our audience's needs and our needs as writers. So I hope that information is helpful to you and helps you polish up your rhetorical knowledge skills a little bit. Um, hope that's useful and good luck with your writing.